one more deep breath here. And then you can press your hand back down, make your way up, kind of just pausing in the center. We walk our hands back, and we're going to take our knees together right here, hands behind our back, palms up, and we're going to come to child's pose variation with our head down, palms up. So this variation is just allowing our uh, shoulders to release and kind of allowing the inner legs to relax. So we'll just be here for a few breaths. From here, go ahead and interlace your hands behind your back, and then we're going to come on the top of our head and lift our lower, uh, our hips up, so they're up over top of our knees. Allow your arms to reach up and over. Yes, good. Opening up the shoulders. Great job. Good, and then you can lower back down. All right. So one more pose on our hands and knees. We're going to come to um, a melted heart pose. So you're going to keep your hips up high over your knees. Your knees about hips distance apart. This time, stretch the arms forward, bringing the forehead down. And this is just going to get deeper into our arms and our shoulders by keeping the hips up high. So allow, notice if you have a tension in your arms and shoulders, and just allow it to release. One or two more deep breaths here. And then you can slowly walk your hands back. And we're just going to come to a seat. So if you want, um, we'll just kind of put the blanket aside. All right, so we're going to start. Let's take our left foot in front. And... We're going to take that right foot, bring it across, and we're going to start to slide that foot across. So for everyone, it'll be different. For some people, that knee might stay up. If you can, you want to try to stack the knee over knee on top of knee. But if you can't, don't worry about it. That's normal. All right? Both sit bones are down. If it's more comfortable, you can place the foot down like that. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> so you don't want to be, like, super uncomfortable in the pose. You know, you want to find a way that works for you and your body. All right, so just sitting up nice and tall. So take a moment in this stretch to kind of notice where you feel it. So the stretch, you might feel it in the hamstring on the leg that's out long. And it's also a good hip stretch. So for the knee that's on top, we'll start to feel it in the knee. So we're just going to start out with a twist. So your right knee is on top. Take your left hand. So it's going to be opposite hand to opposite knee for the twist looking over your shoulder. Good. Sitting up nice and tall as you twist, find length in your spine, and kind of look behind you, getting a nice little neck stretch. The twisting is really good for our back and for our spine. All right, go ahead. From here, we'll come back through to the center. Take your other hand, your left hand to the side. We're going to reach up with our right arm and just stretch up and over to the side so you're stretching the side muscles here. Good. And then we'll make our way back up. So from here, we're just going to start to come forward. So coming forward, just getting deeper into the hamstring, into that hip stretch. 
just however feels comfortable. Allow yourself to feel a good stretch, but not force it, not kind of um, yank it down. Allow those muscles to relax in the pose. Come back to that deep breath. All right, slowly start to walk your hands back. Just kind of pause at the top, and then you can untwist your legs. Just shake them out a little bit. All right, we'll take our feet out wide and just drop both knees to one side and then to the other side a few times. And we'll come to a reverse tabletop, so hands behind your back. Lift your hips up. Just stay in here about three to five breaths. Good. From here, we'll lower back down. So last time, you probably had your left leg forward. This time, right leg forward. Or just make sure you switch. Most important thing. <laughs> So we don't always do the, you know, the follow the same sign. That's fine. All right. So see how this side is. Maybe on this side is easier. Your uh, knee can go further. Maybe not. <laughs> so just kind of find that comfortable position. Both sit bones are down. If you can, you're stacking the knees. If not, that's fine. Sitting up nice and tall. Opposite arm to opposite knee. Looking over your shoulder. Deep breath. Sitting up nice and tall. And then looking behind you, also getting that um, nice neck stretch as well. And I am just snapping a few pictures before it gets too dark, so don't not mind me. Okay, good. You can come, make your way back through to the center, and we're going to do that oblique side stretch. So right hand comes down, left arm reaches up. Inhale, exhale, over to the side. And then we'll make our way back up through to the center. We'll start to walk our hands forward. And try to find your edge in that pose. So your edge where you're feeling a good stretch, but you're not forcing it. You're still able to find that um, relaxation in the pose as well. One more deep breath here. And then slowly start to walk your hands back, kind of just pausing at the top. Untwist your legs, shake them out. And then we'll windshield wiper our knees side to side a few times, taking the feet out wide, dropping both knees to one side, then to the other. And we'll come to that uh, reverse tabletop as our counter stretch again. So heels in towards you, hands behind you, fingers facing you. Lift the hips up nice and high. Maybe allow the head to draw back. Good. Slowly lower back down. All right. From here, we're going to come to a yogi squat. So let's come on to our let's come on to our hands and knees again. 
and we're going to hold this yogi squat for about a minute. So you're going to take your foot out to the side about the width of your mat, and then your foot out to the other side at a diagonal. If you can, you're going to bring the hips down, chest lifts. If it, um, is if it is more accessible to you, come up onto the toes. So that's totally fine too, just to come up on the toes. So however you're able to hold it, you want to ultimately bring your lengthen through your spine. So your hands are at your heart center. Chest is lifted, spine's nice and long, very good. So we are gonna try to hold this for about a minute. But if you need to kind of come out of it for a little bit, that's totally fine. But try to just come back to your breath About three more deep breaths. All right, take your hands down in front of you. You're going to lift the hips up. Feet are just going to face forward, and we're coming to a rag down forward fold. So nice bend in your knees. You want to maybe grab your elbows. You're going to let your head hang, your arms hang. Lift up from your hips. Maybe sway side to side a few times. Good. Feeling that nice stretch in the back of your legs. Spreading up the toes, grounding through your feet. Sending your body weight forward a little and then back. And you want to try not to sit back too much in the heels. Bring that weight more towards the center. Lift up a little bit more through your hips. So keep a bend in your knees, but kind of maybe a, a lessening the bend, lifting up through the hips to go deeper into the backs of the legs and the hamstrings. But still sit staying soft. From here, you can release your hands down to the mat, and we're just going to roll up nice and slow. So just rolling your body up, and we're just hanging there to start with, letting the arms hang long as you slowly start to roll your back up. And then once you come all the way up, rolling those shoulders up a few times. Very good. All right. So we're just going to do an extended mountain pose here. So inhale, reach up, and just reach those arms up nice and long, just opening up here. Deep breath. Hold it here for a few more breaths. Smile. <laughs> Very good. From here, we're going to open up the cactus arms just like we did at the beginning. So bending the elbows, chest opens a little bit more, maybe a little bit of a back bend. So maybe start to look up towards the sky. Good, and then from here you can release. All right, we're going to come into a chair pose. So feet about hips distance apart. Hands start at heart center, and then we're just going to sit back, bend the knees, tuck your tailbone just a little bit, keep the chest lifted, and then we'll reach our arms up. About five deep breaths here. Good. From here, we're going to exhale, come back to a forward fold. Heel toe your feet wider apart. We're going to come back to that yogi squat. So we're going to come back to it for one more minute. So feet as wide as the mat, out at a little diagonal. Start to bring the hips down. So 
But if you didn't like the yogi squat, if it was like really uncomfortable, you can just kind of come up here and maybe just do a little twist here and here. <laughs> All right, so I know it's not the most comfortable pose for everyone, but it's a little bit of a challenge. We'll try again, one more minute. Two or three more deep breaths. And then you can bring your hands out in front of you, lift your hips up. Just stay in this forward fold for two or three more breaths. And then we're going to roll up again. All right. Once you're up, draw your shoulders back. All right, so from here, we're going to go through our moon salutations. So moon salutations, normally, you would start, you would go horizontally on your mat. Um, we're just going to vary it just a little bit, but start towards the front of your mat. We're going to inhale, reach the arms up nice and tall, point your fingers are up. Exhale, you're going to stretch towards one side. I'll say um, towards that side. Just like a nice oblique side stretch, yes. Towards the city. <laughs> and then we'll come up through to the center stretch. Open over to the other side towards the marina. Good. And then back through to the center. From here, take a big step out with your left foot. You're going to step to the long edge of the mat. So opening up star pose. Good, yeah. Stepping back towards the boat. Perfect. Arms out nice and long. From here, we're going to come to goddess pose. So you're going to bend the elbows like we did cactus arms. Feet come out at a little bit of a diagonal and then bend the knees down, lower down. Chest stays lifted. Very good. Perfect. Good. And then make your way back up. Back to star pose. Reach the arms out. You're going to turn your right foot to face me. So towards the front of the mat. Back foot comes in at just a little diagonal. And we're coming to a triangle pose. So you're just going to reach forward. Bring your hand down to your shin. Your top arm is going to come up. Yes. Staying there for a few breaths. So the hand's just resting on the shin or even down on the mat. Long straight line between the arms. Good. From here, we're going to bend that front leg. Bring both hands down, coming to a low lunge. So take that back knee down and back. Check your front knees over top of your ankle. And then we're going to make our way up, reach your arm, find your balance, <laughs> reach your arms up, a little more challenging with the wind, good, reach, and then we'll bring the hands back down, lift that back knee up, and we're going to step that back foot forward, and we're going to change sides, so take the opposite leg back, we're going to come back to that low lunge, so send the back knee down and back. Find your balance, so a little bit staggered stance is going to be better for balance with all this wind. Lengthen through your spine, reach the arms up. Good. Bring your hands back down. Lift that back knee up, so we're going to spin the back heel down. We're going to come into that triangle pose again. Straighten your front leg, opposite arm comes down towards the, maybe the shin, the knee, the mat. Reach your top arm up. Good. Pressing down towards the bottom hip, spinning the top hip open. We're going to come all the way up into star pose. This time we'll be facing um, the other way. Yeah, perfect. So opening up the arms, the shoulders, and then goddess pose. So the elbows come bend, knees come out to the side, lower down. Good. Make your way back up. Star pose again. Take a big step back to the front of your mat. 
And we're gonna inhale, reach up, lengthen through your spine, exhale, over towards the marina side, over towards one side, <laughs> back through to the center, over towards the other side. Good. Good, and then inhale, reach up, exhale, bring your hands back down to your heart center. All right, we're gonna go through that same sequence one more time, so now you kind of know what to expect. All right, so inhale, reach the arms up, exhale, we'll stretch over towards the beach side. <laughs> inhale, back through to the center, exhale towards the marina. Good, inhale, back up. Take a big step, step out with your left foot. Star pose. Draw the shoulders back, reach out through the arms. All right, feet kind of come out of diagonal, bend the elbows, bend the knees, lower down into goddess pose, very good. We're gonna come back up to star pose and then turn the foot closest to me to face me. We're gonna come into triangle pose, so just reach forward. Bringing the arm down, long straight line, pressing down towards the bottom hip, open the top hip, open to the sky, arm open. Good, and then we're gonna bend that front knee, take both hands down to frame that front foot, take your back knee down and back. Low lunge when you're ready, taking the hands to the knee to steady yourself, find your balance and then reach up. Good, we'll make our way back down. Lift your back knee up. We're gonna step forward, coming to a forward fold. And then step back with the other leg. Setting up for the low lunge. Hands to your knee, find your balance when you're ready. Reach up, lengthen through your spine. Yes. Find your balance. So you have to really use your core, work, core through all the winds. And then you can bring your hands back down. Lift your back knee up. We're gonna set up for triangle pose on the other side. Spin that back heel down. Straighten your front leg. You can kind of slide that hand up to the shin or the ankle. Open up the top arm, embracing the wind. Reach up. Great job. And then we're gonna make our way back up through star pose. Arms out long. Bend the elbows, bend the knees out to the side, a goddess pose. Good, make your way back up, back through star pose. Take a big step towards the front of the mat. All right, and then we'll finish by reaching up. Inhale, exhale, we'll stretch over to the marina side. Inhale, back through to the center. Exhale, over to the beach side. And then inhale back through to the center. Exhale, you can bring your hands back down. All right, very good. So we're gonna make our way back down to the mat. So we're gonna actually finish our sequence lying down. So if you have, like if you have water with you, you wanna drink of water, you can grab that. And then we're gonna make our way onto our backs. All right. So when you're ready, just coming on towards your back. All right, once you're here, we're gonna hug your knees in towards your chest and just do a few little circles. So just massaging your lower back on the mat. And then you can bring your feet down Knees are bent, heels in towards you. We're gonna come into a bridge. So just press the hands down, lift your hips up. Interlace your hands behind your lower back. Lift your chin up and away from your chest. Keeping those hips up nice and high. A few deep breaths here.
go ahead and then slowly lower back down. From here, take your right knee in towards your chest. And then we're going to straighten that right leg, taking your hand behind the thigh or behind the calf or the ankle. Left leg can either stay bent or you can straighten that leg as well. So just stretching out that hamstring, relaxing your head down, just gently pulling that leg towards you. All right, from here you can bend the knee back in towards you and we'll just switch sides. So set that right foot down, bend the left knee in towards your chest. And then you can straighten the left leg, maybe hands behind your thigh or your calf. If you want, you can keep the right knee bent or just slide it down forward. Gently point that leg towards you, just kind of noticing if one side feels much different than the other side. Go ahead and then you can bend that left knee in towards your chest. All right, from here you can have both knees bent again. We're going to come to a figure four stretch. So taking the right ankle above the knee, you can lift the left leg up, interlacing your hands behind the thigh or on top of the knee. Maybe rolling out your ankles a few times. So feeling this stretch and outside of that right hip, a little bit in the glutes. Energetically pressing that right knee back to go a little bit deeper. And then from here, you can release that foot down and we'll just switch sides. The so opposite ankle to the knee, lifting that leg up, interlacing your hands behind the thigh or on top of the knee. Energetically pressing that left knee kind of out to the side to feel it a little bit more in your hips. Coming back to your breath. and then you can release that leg down. From here, we're going to come to a half happy baby pose. So take your uh, right knee into your chest and reach for the outside of that right foot. So the knee's going to be bent. You're going to take that knee out wide, foot up towards the sky, pressing that knee down, so opening up the hip, bringing it out to the side.
And then you can bring that foot down and we'll switch sides. So opposite knee in towards your chest, reach for the pinky edge side of that foot, outside of the foot, bringing the knee out wide, foot up towards the sky, pressing that knee down. And then bring your other foot up. So we're going to come to a full happy baby pose. So reaching for the outsides of both feet or just the outsides of your calves or your ankles are fine too. Rocking side to side. And then from here, bring both knees in towards your chest again. And we're going to take both knees, drop them up and over to our right side. So right hand can relax on the knees. Left arm will come out to the side or kind of just bend at the elbow up overhead. So lying down, twist, knees to the right, left arm out to the left, trying to bring that left shoulder down towards the mat. It won't make it all the way down, but you're trying. Or maybe it does make it all the way down. And then bring those knees back through to the center. And we're going to drop both knees over to the other side. Come back through to the center. Stretch your arms and legs out nice and long. Taking a nice long stretch between your fingers, your toes. Hug your knees in towards your chest. And we're going to roll forward and back a few times to come up to a seat. And I want to see if you guys can spot the moon because I can. It's hard to see, but it's there. Yeah, you have to kind of focus for a few seconds, and um, it's just rising. It's orange, and I don't know who, maybe you can describe it better. It's like, it's between like the, it's, there's not like an opening between the jetties. Between the jetties. So we're just looking for the moon. So if you look at the crashing waves, it's just like pieces, like there's clouds yeah. over top of it. Um, yeah. Do you see oh it? My yeah. Do you see it, Sarah? Okay, I know. <laughs> it's like you just see a sliver of it. Yeah, it's very, it's, well, it's starting, it's very visible really now. I'm trying to, it was just move. right behind the light. Yes, <laughs> yes. And it'll start to come up, oh, so. Gosh, so, awesome. <laughs> so we're going to start our meditation portion here, all right? So. <laughs> All right, so just go ahead and come to a comfortable seat. So get yourself comfortable. If you have your blanket, go ahead and sit on your blanket. If you guys are at home, it may take a few more minutes for you to start to see the moon because it's just starting to rise here. But you can start your meditation here knowing that the moon is there. <laughs> it's starting to rise. And I'm going to actually move behind you all so I'm not kind of blocking it. But just start to take a few deep breaths here.